Welcome back, Roctagon 28 Journey of Champions, and it is now time for the main event of the evening. Nick, this is a match that everybody is here to see. 2-0, Martin Tano Jr. taking on the 6-4, Billy Cologne. And last night at the weigh-ins, a little bit of uh, gamesmanship went on with Sano. Yeah, Cologne offered the olive branches. We're gonna watch here as I'm talking. And uh, as you can see there, Sano turned his head and didn't want to shake hands. Didn't do anything disrespectful, but just didn't want to shake hands. So you take it for what it's worth. Billy Cologne has really let that uh, roll off him pretty well. And uh, it's now time for him to do the talking inside the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a professional bout in the Roctagon middleweight division. It is brought to you by Club 101 and the official after party of Roctagon 28. And it is your main event of the evening! Introducing first, making his way down the aisle, please welcome Billy Puerto Rican Assassin Colo! Assassin Billy Cologne heading to the cage. I mentioned you know, one of the most impressive things about him is his record. He's six and four. All six wins are by submission. Yeah, he's a he's a he looks like a wrestler. You can see his ears have the cauliflower ears. Uh, very nice guy. Uh, and he gets he gets why Sato didn't shake his hand. He said some guys get it. That's how they want to pump themselves up. He's cool with it and. Uh, We'll see if he has a little extra power in his punch for uh, Sato later. Some people uh, talking to people around the area about this fight, they think perhaps Sano has taken this fight too early in his career. He's got a never outfight fight anybody attitude. Billy Cologne, the four losses he had, those opponents' records are 24 and seven. This is truly a step up in competition for Sano Jr. to take on this man right here. Yeah, 24 and seven. You just got to, your matchmaker needs to work a little harder for you because uh, he had a tough fight. And his opponent, please welcome Martin Sano! And there goes the crowd for Martin Sano Jr. Here in El Paso, trained at Bushido MMA, now training Vanderlei Silva's fight team for this camp and spent an extensive amount of time with the Diaz brothers. As we take a look at the tail of the tape, Nick it. Nutter, take it away. Billy Colon coming in at age 26, 5'9", 184 and a half, 70 inch reach. Martin, Martin Sano Jr. coming in at age 22, 5'11", two inches taller, uh, and a pound and a half heavier, 186, and he's got the 74 inch reach. You can really just tell, he's got really long arms proportional to his body. This place is going. It's really coming apart, the seams. Both of these fighters are extremely popular. Sano Jr. came in a pound and a quarter overweight, was able to cut it and actually cut down three below. We weighed in at 182, yeah. 183. Yeah. But good sweat going. this is back. a huge fight. Really, as I mentioned, one of the top prospects, only two and 22 years old, 4-1 as an amateur, now 2-0 as a pro. And has a lot of, of faith in him, of especially Nick Diaz. These two have become very close. Martin Sano Jr. hits the cage. It is main event time. Rock to God 28. I send it in to Jake Dignan for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is sanctioned by the Texas Department of Licensing Regulations, Combat Sports Division, Supervisor Robert Tapia. Your inspectors for this bout are Jorge Reyes, Alfredo Alba, Julian Salcedo, and Carlos Mendoza. Your timekeeper is J.C. Fernandez. Your physicians are Dr. Brian August and Dr. Edward Lima. And your judges for this bout are Raul Valencia, Robert Venez, and Jacob Montalvo. The following contest is a professional bout in the Roctagon Middleweight Division, and it is brought to you by Club 101, the official after party of tonight's 
this event. And now, up on your feet, El Paso, Texas, this is your main event of the With a professional record, six wins, four losses, please welcome Billy Puerto Rico and Asaten Cono! His opponent in the red corner, he fights out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He weighed in at 186 and one quarter pounds, representing Juan the Fight Team with a professional record, two wins, zero losses, Please welcome Martin Sato Jr. This bout is scheduled for three five minute rounds. And when the action begins, your referee is Mr. Kerry Hatley. All right, gentlemen, rock the gun, main event. Back up, back up. Rock the gun, main event. I expect you to conduct yourself like main event fighters at all times. Get over the rules of the dressing room, obey those rules at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Fight hard and fight fair at all times. Any questions here? Any questions here? All right, no touch them up. Let's go to war. Sato Jr. clearly trying to get into the head of Billy Colon early. It's Sato Jr. in the Ward Diaz black trunks. Billy, the Puerto Rican assassin, Colon with the Puerto Rican flag on his trunks. Kerry Hatley, third man in the cage. I'm Ryan Cavanaugh with Nick Nutter. It's the main event of Roctagon 28. Yeah, I can feel the anxiety here. Nice straight left by uh, Colon. Yeah, Cologne again. White. Ooh, knee to the body, oh, big right and a right, and Sano is tough, just staying right there in the pocket. Oh! And left from Cologne. Body kick, and Sano answers yeah, with a big Sanyo right. Answered, big right hand. These two are trading. Yeah, they are throwing. This is a fight. Left, oh, right in, it's, it's over, a knockout. It's, it's all over. Sano Jr. has knocked out Billy Cologne. Oh. Kerry Hadley has stopped this fight. He was going for Sato Jr. as one. He was going for an armbar, or a, I think he was out when he hit the ground. He was, I believe he was out. We'll see on a replay. He looked to be out, but he, Martin Sato Jr. has knocked out the Puerto Rican assassin, Billy Colon. Billy Colon is not happy with this stoppage. And anything could have happened. I know uh, Sato was rocked too earlier in the fight. But these guys came in and exchanged leather. Both of them connected on big shots. Yep. And look at the right. Sato's down. He's and right there. The leg. He did. Huh. <laughs> as, as so often happens right there. When he stopped the fight, Bill, Billy Colon had regained his awareness. Yeah, and you know what? Kerry Halley is one of the best referees in the world. Uh, I feel bad. I feel bad. This is a tough one. I mean, but the, the ultimate goal of the referee is to protect the fighter. And he felt that was the best option at that point. But the way he fell, the way he fell right here as we look here at the replay, this is a guy that went down right to his butt, arms down. He was out for a second, right there. Arms down, right to his butt. But he, he was able to catch himself quick, and now he's going for the leg. This crowd is going wild as Billy Cologne certainly, right there you see it, he had regained his senses, he locked up the leg. I think uh, Gary Hatley stepped in and stopped it though. And as a referee, once you commit, you gotta stop it. Sano Jr. moves to 3-0 as a pro. They bring the fighters together, and I send it back up to Jake Dickman for the official winner. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner at 27 seconds in the first round by TKO, Martin Sano Jr. I'm here with your winner, Martin 
Sano Jr. Billy seemed to be a little upset it was an early stoppage. Do you think that stoppage was appropriate? Uh, it's not my job, bro, that, but uh, you know, that's the rap's call. But uh, first of all, I'd like to thank God, you know, uh, my supporters, all my family. You know, shout out Nick Diaz, my training partner, hooked me up. Ward Diaz, uh, Bushido, Juan Fight Team for helping me out with this camp. Uh, I love my family, my dad, my mom, my uncle, all my fans, friends, and family. Just uh, thank you for Rock the Gun for this opportunity. Uh, Shane, Ugo, and my brother Jerry Sano. Love you all. Awesome performance. Thank you very much for putting on the show. Now 3-0 with the pro, Martin Sano Jr.